After starting to produce and mix my own music, I can see how musicians get driven crazy from what seems like nothing at all. I'm sorry Kanye, and I'm sorry Britney. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is the Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. Having said that, I'm still going to make fun of Kanye and Britney. We start the broadcast off with something you probably all know already. 77-year-old music legend Cher has been dating 38-year-old Alexander Edwards. Cher has since explained why she likes dating younger men. She said it's because the men her age are older are all dead. And because she doesn't want old wrinkly balls bouncing on her feet while filleting him. Hmm, I wonder why a 77-year-old would choose to date a 38-year-old if they had the chance. I've never heard an older guy say, Oh yeah, look at that hot 77-year-old saggy tits. Jojo Siwa has taken a turn for whatever this is. She's decided to step away from her solo career and become the third member of Insane Clown Posse. She'll be going by the name Looking for Attention Clown. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Britney Spears a bit. I'm sure she'll be fine. With all the talk of rappers feuding with each other, there are two more artists that had a feud. Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun. Braun is infamous for buying all of Taylor Swift's music masters from her first six albums. Two hour-long episodes of the show Versus are set to air on Discovery Plus in June, documenting the ordeal of who has the more gaudy private jet and whose mocha lattes are more expensive at the Starbucks near their homes that barely pays their workers. I can't promise that no one will get hurt. The documentary reveals that a worker not dressed in Prada almost accidentally delivered some Panda Express to the wrong mansion in their area the other day. Very close call in the gated community. Speaking of Taylor Swift, New Musical Express reported that she wore Kansas City Chief colors of red and yellow at her Paris Eras Tour show while Travis Kelsey was in the audience. Is anyone else sick of these two being reported on for the littlest thing? I heard that NME has a story ready to go for the weekend where Taylor Swift shot out a turd that looked like Travis Kelsey's mustache. Kid Rock performed at a rodeo in Texas while being driven in the bed of a Tesla Cybertruck by Dukes of Hazard star John Schneider. People think he was singing the song Cowboy, but he was really yelling for one of the cowboys to get in the Cybertruck bed with him. He had a flashback to when he used to frequent bars in Chelsea, Manhattan. If you know, you know. Shakira was under investigation once again for another tax evasion case. She was alleged to have skirted $7.2 million in taxes from 2018, this time with an offshore company. Prosecutors said that there wasn't enough evidence to suggest that she underpaid on her taxes this time and asked the judge to drop the case. I mean, I always get accused of underpaying $7.2 million on my taxes because that's normal. It's kind of like when you get charged 99 cents at the store and pay with the dollar bill and don't take your change. Totally the same thing. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors, the new Shakira Tax Evasion Edition of Monopoly. Will you have a valid enough excuse to stay out of jail, or will you be forced to fund the government's weekend prostitute and drug parties with your hard-earned money from yodeling so hard in your songs that you develop more than an A cup? Do not pass go, do not hoard $7.2 million. I actually like itty bitties. Kid Rock's Greatest Hits Compilation, Songs from the Closet. When you try just a little bit too hard to prove to everyone that you're a hot-blooded American straight male who loves guns, beer, and your female cousins, but hate anything even remotely gay like strawberry shortcake. Kid Rock sings all the classics. He was born free, and only God knows why, so don't tell him how to live as he has his first kiss with an American badass cowboy's cock key. I'm not saying he's not straight, but those titles sound like he's calling out for acceptance. Now I'd like to document a story on the, the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? This is going to be a pretty quick one. Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been going back and forth with diss tracks for the last month or so. Drake had a million dislikes on his last one, but it's overwhelmingly making people lose their minds. 
to two rich people building each other stream revenue up while the public eats it up. Who gives a shit? Okay, next. Joost Klein, who represented the Netherlands in the music competition Eurovision, was disqualified for an incident he had with a female crew member. We don't know the exact nature of the incident, but I'm guessing it has something to do with him trying to fit in her clothes, sniffing her underarms, and saying, I want to be a real boy one day, mommy. Just a guess. Totally not weird at all. Jelly Roll admitted something that he thinks is very frivolous. I quote, Don't judge me for this, y'all. I promise I grew up very humble, but I only wear socks once. I buy socks in bulk. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't let nobody down with that. But when you're fat, you can't have stinky feet too. So you gotta have fresh socks. I don't have a joke. I just thought that was kind of funny. He's going right up there on my Mount Rushmore now, right next to Dolly Parton. Both national treasures. Britney Spears said that her sprained ankle is healing after attempting a risky leap in a hotel living room early in the morning. Sure, we'll go with that. It could be a million and one crazy different things that happened with her. She said she didn't listen to anyone on how to heal it and that she wore high heels and danced on it. I'm guessing one of the people she didn't listen to might have been a doctor. Apparently, the courts don't listen to doctors either. Travis Kelsey has revealed that Taylor Swift's The Tortured Poets Department is his favorite album of the year. Oh, he's really going out on a limb there. Next week, he'll reveal that his favorite football team is the Kansas City Chiefs, and his favorite football player other than himself is his brother, Jason Kelsey. What a brave trailblazer he is. Here's Cardi B at the Met Gala doing her best impression of a Dominican Marge Simpson. Nothing wrong with it. Just saying. Love you, Cardi. According to the New Musical Express website, 60-year-old Billy Idol has said that he's decided not to be a drug addict anymore and is California sober, as he also sits there drinking champagne. He said he also has a glass of wine once in a while. I think he's not really understanding what it means to be addicted. For those that don't know, California sober just means that the person still smokes weed. It's like a guy telling his wife that he's not a prostitute anymore, but he still blows guys behind the Walmart every so often, so he's not tempted to go back to a life of having a proctologist on call. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. I'm sure you probably just noticed, or maybe not. I'm not doing the in memoriam portion of music news anymore. Frankly, it's just too depressing and more work for me to do. I'm sure you're all heartbroken. <laughs>